Hi everybody, my name is Carlos Roberto Chirinos. It's a pleasure to meet you here. Remember, to keep it safe, you need to stay home, wash your hands, and when going out, wear a mask, taking into account the social distancing. Today's lesson, we are going to learn more about daily activity WH question. Let's start the class. Pay attention, please. Class, take a look at the riddle. Vean la adivinanza. Without fingers I point, without arms I strike, without feet I run. What do you think it is? ¿Qué es? Yes, it is correct. It is the clock. Es correcto. La respuesta es el reloj. In this case, we are using WH question. Do you know something about it? Very good. Now, mention some other WH question you know. Great. Let's learn the new vocabulary we need. Pay attention. Get up. Repeat. Get up. Get up. Take a shower. Take a shower. Brush my hair. Brush my hair. Put on makeup. Put on makeup. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get undressed. Get undressed. Cook. Cook. Well, pay attention to this reading where some daily activities are mentioned. Bien, presten atención a esta lectura donde son mencionadas algunas actividades diarias. Class. Listen to the reading about daily activities. Don't repeat. My daily activities. My name is Haden. I am 27 years old. I live in San Lorenzo and I work at the Ennecan Port. From Monday to Friday, I always get up at 6.30 a.m. and I have 20 minutes to take a shower. Then, I get dressed and brush my hair. At 7.20 a.m. I cook but I usually have coffee and cereal. After that, my sister puts on her makeup and takes me to work. As you heard, Haddon's daily activities are similar to what we usually do. Okay class, now, repeat after me. Comencemos. My name's Haddon. I am 27 years old. I live in San Lorenzo, and I work at Ennecan Port. From Monday to Friday, I always get up at 6.30 a.m., and I have 20 minutes to take a shower. Then, I get dressed and brush my hair. At 7.20 am I cook, but I usually have coffee and cereal. After that, my sister puts on her makeup and takes me to work. The previous reading has information about Haddon's life, and to ask for info we need to know, we make use of the WH questions. That includes the question word what, what time, where, and when. La lectura anterior contiene información de Haddens. Para preguntar por información que necesitamos saber, hacemos uso de las preguntas con WH, es decir, WH question. Por esta razón son llamadas information questions. To create them, we need to follow the structure question word 
plus auxiliary verb, the subject and the main verb. For example, where does Haden work? What does he do? To ask for a specific time, we add the word time. So it follows the structure, question word, the word time, auxiliary verb, the subject and the main verb. As an example, we have what time does he get up? And they are answered by giving the information. He gets up at 6.30 a.m. Class, now let's practice. It's your turn. Let's see what you know. So that, organize the words into the correct form to make questions. Les presentaré una serie de oraciones en desorden. Ustedes tienen que ordenar las palabras de la forma correcta para hacer preguntas. Ordenen estas palabras en forma de pregunta. Excellent. The question word at the beginning, what, then the auxiliary verb to, then the subject you, and the main verb like to eat. What do you like to eat? The next one, try to organize. Correct. The question word at the beginning, where, the auxiliary verb do, the subject they, and the main verb live. Where do they live? Now, choose the correct question word. Seleccionen la WH word correcta. Empecemos. Excellent. The answer is the letter B. What time do you go to bed? Let's continue. Very good. The answer is the letter C. When is the Independence Day in Honduras? Recuerden, el idioma es el mapa de carreteras de una cultura, así que les invito a practicar y aprender inglés.